you know, <laughs> I say things that people want to say yeah. and they won't say, say and that's just me. And, and, that's, the good and that's the good thing about me, like. <laughs> like, no matter what you're going through, you're always able to, like, put on a brave face and, like, still put in your best. Do you, do you realize that you're that type of person? You are my daughter. Mm -hmm. What else can I give you if I don't give you love? Um, how would I describe you to others? Mm -hmm. As a strong lady. A very strong lady. I first tell them how like independent you are. Definitely wear the pants in every relationship. How strong you are. <laughs> yeah, how capable you are. That you're more than just you. You know like those people that you feel comfortable asking to take pictures of you? Can you take your yeah, guys' picture? Yeah. yeah. You're the, one of those people. You know that there's only one like you? I always call you the queen. <laughs> the queen. Oh my god, I hate yeah. that. <laughs> I know, sorry. You're so brave. You really are, Shanice. Bravery is not about the absence of fear. It's about getting past it. And you were always so good at that. You were a refugee. <laughs> you were shipwrecked on the coast mm -hmm. of Japan. And you nearly died. Yeah. And then the next thing we know, we're trying to assimilate to this world that we yeah. literally have no idea. That's always been on a TV screen our whole life. It was a strain. It was a struggle. This is it. I have to go out there and get. I have to go out there and make sure my kids have a roof over my head. Make sure the bills is paid. You had to start your own business. Mm -hmm. And then you sponsored your family here. And you navigated a paperwork system in an entirely new language. So with your two hands, amazing. I think you are one of the greatest leaders I've ever met. And you have unlimited power to lead. I see an independent woman. I see a woman of value, a woman of morals, a woman of principle, you know? You stand for what you mean. You mean for what you stand, you know? Yeah. You carry the success of a lot of women. And I think that means something to you constantly because of how strong you are. I feel like my womanhood is always questioned. And I feel like if I wasn't, trans that I would that none of that would happen mm -hmm. but also I am happy that I'm trans because like everything that is me is me. We were talking earlier coming in on the train about um, young women being whistled at and called out to and all of that and then you get to my age and you're ignored <laughs> that really ticks me off so I make noise and try not to be ignored don't let them ignore you when you get old older I'm not old I'm older you help me love myself. You like, you pull it out of me. You show me that I can be pretty. You make me feel pretty. You make me feel sexy. You make me feel I can have power. I would love for you to love yourself the way I learned to love myself. Like, you are exquisite and beautiful and articulate and intelligent and you're breathtaking. I want you to believe that you're breathtaking and walk that way, exist that way. Yeah, that, I think that's something that I want you to realize, that you're really strong and you can do this without me. Like if I died tomorrow, like you could, you know, you could, you could be the person that you want to be. Like you don't need me. <laughs> you just have an ocean inside you. And I don't think you know how big it is. And it's clean. Like there's no garbage in the ocean. Like there's no like sea turtles pulling straws out of their throat. It's just a big, beautiful, clean, pristine, salty, delicious ocean. I just think you're a really, really, really good person. You're a good role model. Oh, I don't like to cry. I forget that. I know. You're so powerful and you just don't, you don't always know it. Thanks. Thank you, Mom.